Fox News contributor and attorney Emily Campagno joins us now. So what can we expect next? We'll see. So at the moment, basically, the DOJ has sent a letter to four different congressional committees saying we have it, we are reviewing it, and it's within the purview right now of the DOJ and the FBI. They're reviewing it for classified information, much like we saw the last time, right, after right. With the Mueller report. So uh, it remains to be seen how long that will take, but eventually once the classifications have been designated and with some redaction, then they'll right. submit it to Congress. Is this one of those instances where uh, the people who are involved get a chance to talk to the FBI and the DOJ about, hey, you know, I know I'm in there. Uh, you probably shouldn't file charges against me. Well, that's something that has been happening throughout this entire thing. And for example, just this past Thursday, Andrew McCabe's attorney sent letters to them saying they wanted to know whether the grand jury had returned a declination of indictment, whether the charges for him had been presented to that grand jury. The standard they argued is so low, and there's a 99.9% .9 that the grand juries always return a yes on indictment. So they right. were basically like, if this has happened, we want to know about it. Obviously, there's no double jeopardy in that sense, and they have not gotten an but answer back. that was back. for the previous uh, Inspector General referral, not for, right, not for the current one. Right, right. but meaning this is, this is an ongoing discussion, and it won't stop. Mm -hmm. So when we look at this FISA report, in theory, shouldn't both parties be concerned about this? Because right now, it involves Russia. But there's been other FISA applications. We, it's a top-secret situation. We know that almost all of them are okayed. But is this time, do you think we end up with an autopsy, the whole process? I hope so. And you're right, everyone should be concerned. And what's most problematic as a citizen is the fact that these things have been politicized in the past, right? We saw that with a big kind of Verizon issue a few years ago, where when it suits a certain party, there has been a clamoring over it. But yes, absolutely, there should be transparency. And as citizens, we should know our government is not weaponizing its surveillance and intelligence components for use against us. Keep in mind, too, for viewers, that we also have the ongoing investigation by the U.S. Attorney um, of Connecticut, he has broader subpoena powers and broader reach power. So despite the million documents and all the weeks spent right. on this particular investigation, that one could be more thorough. And Steve, yeah. you always point out John Uber's working on something. He is. Yeah, that's what you're talking right. about. John <laughs> so yeah. Uber. Well, and that one's the Clinton, or Clinton Foundation investigation, too. There's two. Exactly. All right, so stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you, Emily. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it. All right. Meanwhile, it's feeling like fall here in New York City, and that means it's time to get your flu shot.